broadcast live. Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to Universal Music. Um, it's a special day today for, for Universal Music. Um, it's, a, it's a briefing for one of the artists that for a long time I have been eyeing at a distance. And finally, I got him to sign on the dotted line. Um, I'd like you guys to welcome El Tito in the house. <laughs> um, what's the reason that we, we signed El Tito? I think for the longest time, El Tito has been uh, one of those hip-hop artists in South Africa that has actually done very well and for the culture. And I've always been admiring him from a distance and thinking that um, when is he going to sign to Universal? And I want him to sign so that we can do great things. That day has arrived, and I'm hoping that the relationship is going to be a fruitful one. Um, I've listened to the album. When, when it gets released, you guys do yourself a favor and actually go and buy the album. It's an amazing body of work. Um, there's a lot of features on the album. And in my honest opinion, uh, with what is currently out in the market, this is sure to become one of those albums in South Africa that you need to own. So without wasting any further time, I'm going to hand over to El Tito. And yeah, take, take over, bro. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, yeah, man, like um, for a lot of people who don't know, I've been in the game for about like 10 years and um, I've been independent for all that time, basically, you know, and um, I felt after 10 years, it's time to do things a little bit different, you know. Um, so I partnered up with, with, with people that I feel could take my brand to the next level, you know, and um, Universal is definitely that brand that I trusted would be able to do that. And um, I'm dropping a new album uh, very soon. I'm just waiting on Temba um, to give me the date. Um, but we are completely done with the album. It's sounding amazing. And uh, I feel like this album deserved a platform outside of the um, independent thing that I've done for so many years, you know? And um, we partnered up with Universal. I'm happy with the deal that we're doing. And um, basically, I'm, I'm about to drop a single. Um, next week, I think, yeah. So we're gonna give people the first single next week, and then the album will follow. So I wanna give you guys like the exclusive, actually, to hear the single before anybody else hears a single. And um, the single basically talks about me being in the game for 10 years, and um, my mentality after 10 years, what I've learned, what I wanna achieve, so, and I feel with this sound, the old El Tito fans is going to really love the song and the new fans. So I feel like I'm basically merging the two together with this sound. And um, the song is a very introspective song. I speak about everything that basically I've gone through within the game. And I felt it was important for me to drop a song like this instead of like a, a club banger after not dropping music for so long. So we're going to drop this one to just to set the tone so everybody understands where I'm at um, in my head. And then, yeah. So I think this song is called I'm Back. Uh, it's basically me making a statement about everything, how I feel. And um, it also features um, T Phoenix. Uh, T Phoenix is an amazing vocalist. She's from the UK and um, she lives here now in, in, in South Africa. So listen to this one. This is, this is a song for everybody to just open your mind and listen to the lyrics. It's called I'm Back. Yeah. Turn it up. Thank you. 
Thank you. Yeah, that's I'm back. Um, I'm basically saying I'm back, man, in the game. I haven't dropped a song <laughs> in like, I, I think it's like nine months now. Shit. Yeah. So, yeah. So, if anybody's got questions, you're more than welcome um, to ask me whatever you want to know, basically. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to jump straight in. Uh -huh. I think um, a lot of us are wondering. What type of deal is this? Is it a licensing deal? Is it a distribution or a full-on record deal? Um, it's an artist deal, basically. Um, fully signed to Universal. And, um, but it's not like your, your normal deal, like someone who just made music, you know? Uh, it's complex. It actually took us five months to agree to this deal. You know, we went back and forth to agree on the terms, um, what I'm happy with. So for me not being signed for 10 years it had to be something like major for me to be like okay i can do this you know so i feel it's a deal that's not like any other deal we've seen um i had to negotiate a lot of terms we had to go back and forth till we both are happy with the deal basically all right uh Danny, really yum zanzi and the nrtv um quick question we've seen a trend of artists leaving their record labels for various reasons and since you've been independent for just over 10 years why was it so important for you to go into a record label instead of being independent i feel like i've done the independent thing uh for like 10 years you know and i've learned so much i think um me being independent actually helped me also put this deal together because there was so much i knew um, compared to like a new artist starting out because they expect certain things from labels sometimes and they don't understand what they have to put put in so for me negotiating is like I understood the terms publishing I understood all the terms I'd have to do with music um, sometimes new artists don't actually understand their contract and they expect certain things from a big label so when they don't get them then that comes like a big fight or whatever so um, and I feel this album is like amazing. It deserves a big platform, you know, and uh, that's why. And I felt like Universal could give me that. Yeah. Eta. Eta, Eta, Eta. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. Uh, Bobo from Gasla Magazine. Uh -huh. uh, what I want to know is for an El Tiro wannabe right yeah. now, Ikas is watching El Tiro saying, oh man, he did it for 10 years, and now I want to do it independently. Um, what do you think, what tools do you think they need for them to survive this long, Jeng Awe? And at what point do you think it's good enough for them to say, no, now I want to sign with Universal? Honestly, uh, there is no method to this. I can't give someone tools to say how I got here, but I feel for me to be here, like just for artists actually being around in a game for over five years is a miracle, you know, because that's how things come in and come out so for me to be here 10 years from independence i think is by the grace of god honestly as as corny as that might sound but i feel like he has blessed my life for me to be here in this position because i feel like the people that started hip-hop that are still active right now you can count you can count them in one hand actually you know and i feel blessed that i'm i'm one of them and i did it independently so I think I can't give them tools, especially beginning as an independent artist is hard. I had to figure out, I saw my first mixtape at, like, at the trunk of my car, basically. I think people understand, like, I, let me, let me tell you actually what I did, actually. So I had, I was working a nine to five and I was a financial advisor. So, you know, I know my figures right. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I was a financial advisor and I quit because this music thing is like, I felt so, like, like I felt like I had to do that, you know? And um, I quit without having a manager, nobody, like I didn't have no type of format, no structure. I I saved money and uh, what I did is, with the money that I saved from my nine to five, I printed copies, I, I recorded my mixtape and I, I printed copies of the mixtape 
I never planned, I never manager. I dropped a song called When It Rains. If you guys, you, I think it's on YouTube. You guys need to see the video, it's terrible. But like, <laughs> like I, you have to start from somewhere, you know, but I invested in myself. I invested in what I believed in and um, things happened for me. I went on radio and my songs got played and everything. And then I also recorded my first album. I funded my first album too. And I record actually everything that I've done up to here, I find it too. So sometimes you have to, it's how you believe in yourself to make things happen. So um, from the time when I started having a manager, actually, so it's, it had been me alone until for like three years, I only got a manager. People don't even probably won't even believe after I even dropped re-rolling and everything. That's when I got a, a manager. But before that, I won like a Channel O award. I did everything without me having nobody else but myself. So I got to learn the game and I don't feel like I advise someone to travel the road that I traveled because I feel we all have our own roads to travel and what works for me necessarily won't work for the next person, you know? Yeah. Um, hi, man. What's up, man? Good, good. Uh, nice single, by the way. Nice, nice thank single. you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna take it back a bit. Now, you've recently um, collaborated with AKA on his album. Uh, you featured him last year. Now, he's someone that you've had beef with in the past, right? Now, you, I, I'm, I'd assume you engaged that beef or entertained it because you're independent. Now, being a signed artist, would you still engage beefs in the game? I, I didn't engage the beef because I was independent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel, you know, people always feel something strong about beef. Um, and like, why are rappers beefing and beefing? We are humans before we rappers. So, so, so humans will always have feuds, no matter what. You have problems sometimes with your family members, you know? You might fight with your mother, you might fight with your dad. So, that goes to say, the feuds in hip hop will never end, because we are humans first. We'll always have misunderstandings. We always want to agree. And um, yeah, so me and AKA's beef wasn't based on uh, no record label thing. It was just like humans having a fuse. And yeah, um, it's been dope how we patch things up. Um, and yeah, I'm on his new album and it's like, the song is amazing, amen. And I'll give you like another thing for you guys, since I appreciate you guys coming. We also have a new song that's going to be on my album too that you guys haven't heard. Yeah, it's going to be on my album, my new album. Yeah. Um, last question. Yeah. So what, are we ex what should we expect from this deal? Are we looking at national domination, continental domination, international domination? What's, what's the direction? What? Okay, he wants to take this. <laughs> Look, um, for us signing uh, El Tito, it's, it, it's taking the brand to another level. So... Uh, Universal has offices all across Africa. Yeah, of course. So we're looking at exploiting all those avenues. Yeah. Um, <coughs> we want to take this, this this album to a way different level. Um, I think it's got potential to be big, and we'll give it all the the focus that it deserves. All right, thank you, man. What's up, brother? Um, with this album, what can we expect? Is there a difference from the sound that we've grown accustomed to? Mm -hmm. Or is it something completely new? Um, like I said, I feel like uh, with, with even the single that I played, I, I had to, like before I went into this album, I had to like, you know what? I want to make my old fans happy that, that when I started the music with, uh, give them that sound, that raw hip hop, boom bap type of sound. And... Um, we are still living in 2018, so I can't give him like El Tito from 2008 alone. So I had to fuse both worlds. So I have new sounds that I tried, and then I still have my old uh, vintage El Tito sound, you know? And um, yeah, it's, it's just basically a fuse, but it's more introspective. Like I talk about like deep, deep stuff that I wouldn't usually talk about with the music, you know? Um, I'm a very, very, very private person. That's why you'll never hear stories about me on the newspaper or whatever. I'm very, very private. But with this album, I felt like, let me open up a little bit, you know? Let me give fans a story about things maybe they don't know about me. I feel I am important. So with this album, I opened up and I expressed myself to let people know what's going on inside my head basically 
Sure, Tito. Uh, what, up, what up, Sandy? What up, Sandy? All good, man. <laughs> Um, you know, normally with um, um, artist deals, né, it's, it's normally uh, seen as something that's good for like new and uh, like new artists. Um, don't you feel like maybe you signing like an artist deal like this uh, is gonna sort of like dent your street cred? Uh, and also, um, how, how long is, is it like a three album kind of deal, or what are the terms in terms of how long? <laughs> it's not uh, street cred. Um, <laughs> it's not like I said. This is not your your typical artist deal. It's not like um, uh, how would you give someone. Uh, we had to. Know, I told you it took us like five months to come to an agreement. So this is not your typical artist deal. You know. Um, it's like I can't obviously talk about like the deal, like the different things that's in the deal. But this is not like a contract, like anybody's seen a contract like that. There's not like, we had to change and amend a million things. So I am happy and they're happy at the same time, you know? Um, so yeah, at the end of the day, it's about something that I, besides anyone else, that I had to live with. And I came to Universal as a brand, you know, in terms of like, it's not like a situation where they're signing a new artist where they have, like, I showed that, I am I can sustain and be consistent in the game for this long. So when we went to negotiate the deal, that had to be on the table. Like, yo, you are not just signing a new artist and whatever. So it's not your typical deal that everybody has. Yes, it's an artist deal, but it comes with a lot of uh, amendments. You know. So yeah, man, I feel this this is like a, a really, really, really dope deal, and uh, I'm looking forward to see how we work as Universal. By the way, by the way, it was a very difficult negotiation. Mm. Oh. Took us what five months? Yeah, five months. Yeah, I didn't sleep most of those times. So. But anyway, it's done. Are we good? Yeah. So yeah, I want to thank everybody for coming out uh, today. Um, we appreciate it for you guys taking your time and. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys soon too because we're about to drop the album uh we're gonna have listening sessions and everything so um i think to bigger things uh with the ltdo brand and yeah just giving you guys just much more work uh something you want to say guys thank you very much yeah yeah i think run run, run the singles so we can give them this i mean they took their time so just give them the the, the exclusive again it's called I'm Back, by the way. Yeah. Broadcast live.